Hey, dear friends. Hey, BMI Care TV community members. And those of you joining us for the first time, if you are a prospecting graduate student looking to enhance your academic experience while it's also receiving financial support, then the Invest of Kentucky is the right place for you because this school offers a range of graduate assistantship scholarship opportunities that you can take advantage of. Before we jump right into looking at this, I would like to simply ask you, dear friends, that if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel, become part of the BMI Care TV community, and help spread the word that it's raining scholarship opportunities here at the BMI Care TV community. Share these opportunities with those within your families, within your communities, and those within your professional networks who are looking to further their academic journey. Now, you can see that we are currently searching the University of Kentucky, and we are going to go right onto the website of University of Kentucky, where we are going to be exploring the opportunities of graduate assistantship scholarships, which I believe would be of benefit to you if you are a prospecting a graduate student. Now, you can see on this website that the four 2025 application for admission is now open at University of Kentucky. And you simply have to click there to apply if you are ready to do so. Now, when it comes to studying at the university in the United States, it would be important that you secure funding. And so we are going to be taking you through these different scholarship opportunities that are available. And our focus is going to be the graduate uh, assistantships that are available at this university. So the first question really is, what are graduate assistantships? So when we talk about graduate assistantship in the uh, University of Kentucky, we are referring to, you know, scholarship opportunities that provide the students with a chance to work in teaching, research, and administrative roles. So these positions not only offer the stipend, but also offer, you know, the opportunity of waiving off tuition fees and mandatory fees. And in some cases, you may receive health insurance coverage as well. So this allows you to focus on your studies and professional development without having to move a muscle as far as financial requirements are concerned. So what are the types of assistantships that are available at this university? So there are three main types of assistantships that are available. So there's the teaching assistantship, research assistantship, and graduate assistantship. So essentially administrative assistantship where you are able to save in different roles other than teaching and research. So each role often, each role offers unique experiences, responsibilities that are tailored to your academic and career goals. So what are the benefits really of applying for these uh, graduate assistantships? So the first one is that students receive guidance from professors, collaborating with peers, and presenting their research that they are working on with their mentors. As a graduate assistantship, you will gain valuable hands-on experience, mentorship from faculty, and the opportunity to contribute to groundbreaking research. Plus, you will be part of a vibrant academic community. Some students who have served as, you know, graduate assistantships, they have had this to say that being a teaching assistant has improved their communication skills and deepened 
their understanding of the subject. Another one had this to say, my research assistantship position gave me the opportunity to work on innovative projects and collaborate with experts in their field of interest. In terms of eligibility, for one to be eligible really for these programs, they have to be a full-time graduate student at the University of Kentucky. And so what does that imply? What, impl what that implies is that you first of all will have to apply to a program at the University of Kentucky. And once you've, you've been admitted or accepted into that program, then you will proceed to apply uh, for a scholarship. And so there is, you know, application on one hand where you apply to the program and application on the other hand where you apply to the graduate assistantship positions in the department. And so what you would need to do is to reach out to the department where you have a particular interest in terms of the program of interest and ask specific requirements that are needed for you to be able to scoop this graduate assistantship position. And it's recommended really to do that before you even apply for the program. So like we are saying, currently the application uh, portal is open for the year 2025. For those that would like to start their programs in the year 2025, it is currently open and it's a good time to begin to reach out to the department so that the earlier you apply, the, the better, because then you will have a chance to spend quality time working on that application. And so you might want to first of all, look at reaching out to the director of the program that you are applying for in a specific department. Now, before we come to a close, I would like now to take you through the different sections of this website that actually shows this information in much more details regarding the you know, graduate assistantship programs that are available at this university. So if you would want to explore this, you can actually explore this you know, website in and out at different sections of it, and you'll be able to come up with different information that is actually useful for you, different pieces of information that is useful for you. But what we are going to do is we are going to go to admissions, and then we're going to go to scholarships. So uh, scholarships is what we are going to do to go to. But maybe before that, let's first of all uh, go back. So if we went back here, we look at ad academics, you can see that there are different you know, faculty. So there are different faculties. So you can see here that there are different programs within this university that you can apply for apply for you know ranging from you know college of agriculture food and environment going all the way to uh the martin school of public policy and administration as well as the patterson school of diplomacy and international commerce and not forgetting our friends from the health sector they are covered so there's the college of medicine there's a college of nursing there's a college of pharmacy and the college of uh, public health and a college of social work as well. And then there is a standalone graduate school where you actually, who is looking to get a graduate research assistantship, graduate uh, teaching assistantship, graduate administrative assistantship, you would actually be applying to the graduate school. Now, let's go to uh, the, the scholarship opportunity. So that I just show you the web page, pages that you would want to be visiting. And these would be the web pages that I'm going to leave in the description box of this video so that you can explore these at your own time. So we are on admission and then we're going to go to scholarships. So we go to scholarships and then from scholarships, we are going to uh, scroll down and look at these different things. So you can see there is international students, there's non-traditional and part-time students, then there's graduate and uh, professional students. Uh, if we go uh, down again, we will find that there are these you know, scholarships that are being talked about on this end. 
but our interest really is to go to uh, the section that speaks about graduate and professional students. So we're going to go to graduate and professional students, and then from there, we are going to go to uh, the section that speaks about you know, scholarship opportunities that are available for our graduate students. So we just have a minute, so we're going to go to graduates. Okay, so we'll go to graduate admission, and then we are going to go to uh, assistant ships. That's what we're looking for. So assistant ships, student funding. So we we'll go to student funding. So that is where we are going to be finding this information. So you can see it. There you have it. That you know there is different types of assistant ships. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this link here. And while it's on this link, we're going to see that, you know, there are these types of assistant ships. And, you know, we can see here that there's teaching assistant ships and there's information about the eligibility for an appointment. And if you go down here, you're going to see where it talks about your responsibilities as a teaching assistant ship and then the training that is required. And then they're also talking about international teaching assistantships. And then if you scroll down here, you find that they're talking about research assistants, research assistants, uh, eligibility, appointment, then responsibilities. And then they're also talking about graduate assistantship also. There they are highlighting eligibility, appointment, and the responsibilities. So I'm just really taking a quick look so that you can go through these at your own time and not to worry dear friends i'm going to leave the links to these you know sections of this website in the description box of this video so that you can actually go through this information at your own time now let's look at a little bit more details so just within this page dear friends there's a lot more information so you look at tuition scholarship and bidding information then there's fellowships, then there's external funding, and then there's frequently asked questions. Now, we're just going to look at tuition, scholarships, and billing information. So if you see here, you actually see they are talking about tuition, scholarship information. So here they are highlighting that for teaching assistantship, research assistantship, and graduate assistantship, and fellows, the Office of Graduate Funding has compiled the following list of questions frequently asked by graduate students regarding tuition, scholarships, and billing. So tuition and fees are subject to change without notice. So now, what, what they're saying here, friends, is that before you take a step to reach out and ask a question, you want to actually go through the frequently asked questions on this page so that in case your question has already been answered here, you may not need to reach out to the department to ask questions about what has already been answered, all right? So that is what they are basically saying. Now, if you go to the next section, they're talking about what are assistantships and fellowships, and then they're describing to say that an assistantship is an appointment in which graduate students pursuing an advanced degree engage in specified teaching or research duties, assistantships carry a bi-weekly stipend so i just wanted to highlight that so every two weeks you will be getting paid a stipend if you are offered if you are given this assistantship position so a bi-weekly stipend and that may cover and you, and you this assistantship position also may cover tuition costs all right so tuition costs so then in addition to that, there's information about a fellowship where they're saying a fellowship is a non-service award that is made to academically superior graduate students to assist them in the pursuit of an advanced degree. So the graduate school fellowships carry a bi-weekly stipend as well and usually cover tuition costs. So all stipends are taxable by income, so you may have to you know, pay, retain tax to the federal government and as well as to, uh, to the state. Now the question is, how do you apply for this? And this is you know, some important piece of information. So students wishing to be considered for assistantships 
and fellowships should inform the director of graduate studies of the program to which they are applying. So all students may send letters to the director of graduate studies in care of the department. So the University of Kentucky, Lettonstone, you know, that is the zip code. So there is no graduate school assistantship fellowship form. However, some programs may have some forms. And so this is an important piece of information and you would want to underline that. Now, what scholarship op opportunities are available? The other last piece of information that I would like for you to know is this section which is saying, what is the assistantship fellowship application deadline? So you can see that most fellowships and assistantships are awarded for the academic year which begins in August. So if you get awarded this assistantship or fellowship, it means you'll be starting your program in August of 2025, all right? That is what is being highlighted here. So most departments make appointment decisions for the next academic year between February and April. Students interested in an assistantship or fellowship are strongly urged to contact the appropriate director of graduate studies no later than January 15 for the next academic year. So departments notify students of, of assistantship appointments and graduate school office of finance, funding and analytics notices, notifies students of fellowship appointments, all right? So funding and analytic not, analytics notifies students of fellowship appointments. So announcements are generally made by May. So ethically diverse, you know, eth eth ethnically diverse students and women in underrepresented areas applying for tuition scholarship and for a Lyman T. Johnson Fellowship are considered for spring as well as academic year awards. So this is, you know, just, you know, key information that I also wanted to make sure that I highlight before, you know, coming to the close of this video. So the most important piece of information in this section is that applications for the you know graduate assistantship or fellowship application programs are supposed to be done by January 15. And so when you apply for the program, you also need to reach out to the director of graduate studies, copying the department that you have applied to, highlighting that you are interested in an assistantship position or fellowship position in the department so that when the applications are being reviewed, you are considered for that opportunity. And so you can see here that there's a lot more information that you can you know, go through at your own time. And so not to worry, dear friends, I am going to leave this link to this you know, web page in the description box of this video so that you can actually go through it at your own time. So make sure you take time to go through these pieces of information so that when the application begins and when you start working on your application because the applications are currently open. So you want to actually start working on your application, but before that, you want to quickly ensure that you have gone through the website in very much detail, making sure you pick out all the pertinent information that will be required. All right. So with that, dear friends, I would like to simply say, may you take time to explore the University of Kentucky and take the next step in your academic journey with a graduate assistantship scholarship. You will be able to unlock your potential and make a difference in your field of interest. For more information, as far as you know, scholarships are concerned on this university, you will be sure to visit the University of Kentucky website. And again, the link will be left in the description box of this video. And in case you want additional information about scholarship opportunity, I would like to ask you to please subscribe to this channel and become part of the BMI Care TV community just in case you have not yet subscribed. And when you have subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell icon, selecting all notifications 
so that when we upload future videos, you will be amongst the first few individuals to be notified of those videos that we shall upload on this channel. Go a step further also, dear friends, by giving us this thumbs up on this particular video and also sharing it widely to other people so that they may have you know, access to opportunities such as this one. Remember that we have not won until we all win. And this is why here at the DMI Care TV, we cherish this, you know, ability to share opportunities with others so that others can also take advantage of these opportunities. Because at some point, we benefited from others sharing opportunities to us. And so we want to make sure that others also can benefit from this good deed of sharing these opportunities. With that, dear friends, I would like to simply say it's bye-bye for now until in our next video. Thank you.